Hello, my name is Madison Culver, and in the short video, we are going to walk through how to properly plot on a ternary diagram. It is important to know how to plot and read ternary diagrams because they are used in a wide variety of fields. This diagram allows you to easily plot three variables at once to see how they interact with each other. Whether you want to determine soil texture, chemical composition, rock composition, or just about anything with three dependent variables, the ternary diagram is the diagram for you. So what exactly is a ternary diagram? It is a diagram that allows you to plot three different dependent variables at once. The plot is an equilateral triangle with three separate axes. Each side of the triangle is the axis for each individual variable. The variables are normally plotted as percentages that range from 0 to 100% as seen in this generic example. However, the data doesn't have to be a percent or a range from 0 to 100. The trickiest part about these diagrams can be remembering how they are set up and how to read each of the three axes. Let's walk through this generic diagram to get a sense of how it is laid out and how we use it to plot. We can work with three different dependent variables. So let's put the first variable, x, on the bottom axis. The bottom axis is percentage of variable x with 0% on the right and 100% on the left. And the percent lines for this variable slope up and to the left. The left side of the triangle will be percentage of variable y with 0% at the bottom and 100% at the top. The percent lines for this variable run horizontally. The right side of the triangle will be percentage of variable z. Here, 0% is at the top and 100% is at the bottom. And the percent lines for this variable slope down and then to the left. Now let's work through an example using the ternary diagram to determine soil texture. Now we have percentages of sand, clay, and silt as our three variables. Let's say that our soil sample is composed of 65% sand, 15% clay, and 20% silt. It doesn't matter which component you start with, so let's just start with sand. When plotting, I find it helps to use a bright color and then physically plot on the diagram rather than trying to plot it out all in your head. So we are told that our soil is 65% sand. So we go to the bottom axis and find 65%. The slope of this line is up and to the left, so we place our line on the diagram. Next, we have 15% clay. Find 15% on the left axis and plot the line across the diagram horizontally. Finally, we have the percent of silt, which is given to us as 20%. So find 20% on the right axis and plot the line across the triangle down and to the left. The point at which all three lines intersect is the texture of the soil. So in this case, we have a sandy loam. If you have multiple samples, they can still be plotted on the same diagram, just use a different color. This plotting method makes using ternary diagrams rather foolproof. If your lines do not intersect, a percentage has been plotted incorrectly and can simply be adjusted. Here are two examples that show the versatility of this diagram. The diagram on the left is actually from one of Dr. Ochsner's publications. This is clearly not for soil texture, but the ternary diagram maintains its base characteristics. There are three variables being plotted on an equal lateral triangle, with each axis labeled specifically for its given variable. The diagram on the right shows a more visual ternary diagram that is probably geared more towards the general public. The three variables are given in picture form and the specific axis labels are left off. This serves as another example of how versatile ternary diagrams are and the wide range of information that they can be used to display.